Hey guys, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can connect multiple addresses to your Google Maps via a database. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're gonna need if you don't already have it is a database. So what you wanna do is come up to add, content manager and press add to site. Now it's gonna offer a bunch of different presets, but for this video, I'm just gonna press this one right here and it's gonna add a couple dynamic pages to our website and it's also gonna open up the database for us. Now, the first thing I want to do is actually create a new field. We're gonna call this one address and then we're gonna set the field type to an address as well. I'm also gonna go ahead and create a few more options here. That way our map looks more filled out. And then what I want to do is go ahead and add the addresses in. And when you paste in an address or insert an address, you're gonna notice that it's going to recommend an address for you. You wanna make sure that you click on this suggested address. This will help prevent issues later on, which I will cover in just a minute. But let me go ahead and fill out the rest of these addresses. Now that we have all of our addresses complete, now we can go ahead and exit out of this database. And for this example, I am just gonna use the dynamic item list page, just like this. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just add a map to our page. So we're gonna come up to add, we're gonna to go to contact and forms and we're gonna to go to maps. Now you can choose one of these or you can choose a full width one. It doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna pull this one out right here for now. And I'm also going to go ahead and change the design as well. Now what we want to do is go ahead and connect this map to our data set. So the location connects to our addresses and you're gonna notice it automatically chooses one of our locations and if you wanted to you could set the title to connect to the title of the location if you have a description you can connect it to the subtitle the link can connect to a different page unfortunately for this there is a weird thing where you can't choose a dynamic page i don't know why that's not an option so if you do want to connect a dynamic page you have to create a new field make it a URL field type, and then you have to paste in the link to that dynamic page. It is a little bit of a process, but this is a workaround if you want to go that route. And then if you want to, you can have the text connect to the title. And then once you are done, you can go ahead and exit out of that. And then we can come over to manage locations and we want to set this to multiple locations. And because this is connected to the database, if we preview the website, it should show all of our locations right here. Now I am gonna go ahead and expand this map out quite a bit. And we can also go into the settings and we can set the zoom level to something like, maybe something like this. Now there are a couple things that I do wanna note to help prevent issues for you in the future. The first thing that I would like to mention is if we go into the design and we set a pin to one of their custom shapes, it will not work since it's connected to a database. Also, if you add your own icon that you want to use, this one will not work either. For some reason, when it's connected to a database, it only chooses the default uh, shape for the pin design. Another thing to mention, if we go back into the content manager, and let's say we want to add a seventh location, but we forgot to put in the address. If we go ahead and go back to our page, it's going to completely remove all of your addresses, including on the preview and live site. So for whatever reason, if one of the address fields inside the database is empty, it will completely break the map. So you wanna make sure that all of these locations are filled out and it's filled out with an address that it recognizes. Otherwise, it will not work. So unfortunately, you can't use very specific addresses that maybe aren't recognized and you can't use like longitude and latitude or anything like that. It has to be a legit address. 
But that basically wraps it up for the video today, guys. If you guys did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and consider subscribing for more Wix content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you all in the next one.